So this is an instructional video on how to do foam. You're going to need three things. You're going to need foam, you're going to need mesh tape, and you're going to need foam prep. We got this at HD Supply, and we're going to put it on the wall here. You got some of the foam laid out. Um, I'll give you the next step when we got to start shooting. 47 and a quarter plus 8 is 55 and a quarter. So what Louie's doing is he's measuring the window and then you want to measure your foam. So the foam is 4 inches across so he's going to add 8 inches for each side. That's just on the top and the bottom and then it'll fit in the middle. Fit it in on the middle. So that's how you measure it before you cut it and before you put your foam prep on. Mix this. We're going to have our foam prep. Foam magic. We're gonna have a bucket of water. I still have a little bit of rapid set in there, but um, it'll be fine. You, all you really need is really clean water is fine, but this is this will work. This is dirty water. Um, I have a Dwight Dewalt drill, so I'm going to pour it in. Maybe need uh, to fill up the bucket. Not that much water. You can always add more water. You can't take water away. You remember that when you're mixing. up and you want this consistency right here so yeah you don't want it really um, you don't want it too stiff you want it to have a little bit of looseness to it so that way it sticks and bonds to the wall the brown coat is still a little moist so it won't take any water if it was a hot wall you would definitely have to give it some water before you apply the foam okay now he's gonna check check the foam on the wall to make sure that it fits right See exactly where he's gonna put it. Check it on both sides, make sure it has clearance. She's ready. She's ready. Uh, mud's a little loose. Mud is a little loose. <laughs> As we already talked about, we like it a little little looser and stiffer, that way it, it bonds to the wall. Kind of like the consistency of a pancake mix. So he's gonna spread it on, try to try to lay it nice and even. As you see, you want the thick part to be in the middle so when you smooth it out you want to like a little bit of a hump in the middle of it so that way when you smooth it out or when you push it up against the wall then it's going to flatten out if you put the stuff on the outside and you leave a big big uh, chunks on the outside and you don't smooth it out to make sure it's in the middle then when you push it onto the wall it's going to drip off the edge and you're not going to get as much as good of a bond so now we're going to put this on and then we're going to fit the rest of the pieces on and we'll come back to you when we go to put the mesh tape. You want to make sure you slide it back and forth to get a good bite. Make sure you slide it back and forth to get a good bite. Make sure it's set. So now we're going to put the mesh tape on. We already got the foam on. Now to put the mesh tape on, you see that we uh, when we put the foam on we left an eighth of an inch in between the tape or the, the window and the foam that way we can uh, put the polybond in there and it's it's not going to build up too much on the window now when we put the mesh tape on you want to cut out your pieces you're going to try to fold it on and make sure that there's no bubbles on your joints you want to make sure your joints overlap see how louis overlapped that joint right there and uh that way there's we don't get any cracks also um, it's a good idea to, if you have mesh tape, leave your mesh tape out in the sun for a little bit. That way it gets a little stickiness to it. If you start out with your mesh tape cold, then sometimes it won't stick. Um, even if it doesn't stick and you're in a cold environment, um, you can use this stuff. It's called 77 Super Adhesive. This stuff works pretty good um, if your mesh tape isn't sticking. But if you leave it out in the sun, you shouldn't really have any problems if you get good mesh tape. Um, okay, and to the next step. For the last step in prepping up the foam, we are going to mix up some more of the foam prep. Now that we have everything nice and mesh taped, we're going to apply a layer of polybond or however, whatever you choose to call it, foam prep over. Which foam prep is basically just cement with uh, glue mixed into it and very uh, fine uh, aggregate. So we're going to mix it over. Once we mix 
it over. You want to get a bucket, fill it up with some water, and have a green float, basically like a sponge. You can get them at Home Depot, pretty much anywhere. And then, once, once he gets everything spread out, I gotta wait for him a little bit. Louis pretty quick. But uh so my wife says. <laughs> Sometimes it's a good idea after you put the uh, foam prep on to let it sit for a little bit. Um, that way it stiffens up and then it makes it a little bit easier to float out. But for educational purposes, I'm just going to show you how to do this real quick. You're going to take your green float, and you're going to just lightly skim over the top of it and leave it all kind of like a nice sand finish. So you want all of it to look like that from here to here. And I will show you the final product at the end. Make sure that when you go to the tape, that after you spread it to the tape, you want to cut it back. You don't want to leave any of excess and it's probably a good idea actually to pull your tape because the tape might get stuck there afterwards. Right. Now after you're finished with everything you pull off the tape and you have a finished foam product ready for color. So that's what it should look like. We did all these windows. The reason we did these windows is because they kind of stuck out a little bit. We took off a bunch of wood siding. So we put this foam on there so that all the windows match up fine. And once we finish the color, everything will be better. Uh, subscribe to my channel, Friends Fostering, and uh, have a good day. Now you know how to do foam. Another Friends Fostering approved job.